Top 10 Harry Potter Real-Life Locations Everyone knows the Harry Potter movies and books, but did you know some of the real-life locations used in the films? Here are 10 of the most iconic Harry Potter real-life locations that you can go and visit right now. Number 10. Gringotts, London, England While Gringotts is located in Diagon Alley in the books, Australia House on the Strand in London is used as the location for the Wizard's Bank in the movie. Unfortunately, the building is not open to the public but ask the security guards nicely and they may let you peep through the door. Australia House was opened by King George V in 1918 and is the home of the Australian High Commission so you can only go inside if you are visiting on official business such as dealing with visas, migration, and citizenship. Either way, you can always take photos of the outside. Try and sneak a peek through the windows. Number 9. Leaky Cauldron in Diagon Alley, London, England. Another recognizable location from the film series is the Leaky Cauldron at Leeton Hall Market in London. This is a restored Victorian market hall designed in 1881 by Sir Horace Jones, also the architect of Old Billingsgate and Smithfield Market. It was originally a meat market, and you can still see the meat hooks above many of the stores, but today it's a great lunch destination, with some fashion and gift stores. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the location was a pub. The Leaky Cauldron is in real life an optician in Bull's Head Passage. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification so you can get notified when we upload the next video. Number 8. The Night Bus, Tennessee, USA. In the movie series, the Night Bus is a moving bus that can take any stranded witch or wizard wherever they want. What would you do if I told you you could stay on the Night Bus? The wizard trolley in the Forgotten Forest, just like the name of this Harry Potter Airbnb, is not in London, England, but in Kodak Forest, Tennessee, not far from the United States Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Despite the surprising fact that this one-of-a-kind accommodation doesn't actually have the night bus name, it sure looks like it does. Number 7. Lambeth Bridge, London, England. This bridge is a popular attraction for all visitors in London and for many locals too. It crosses the Thames River dividing the borough of Southwark on the south bank from Lambeth on the north bank. This is the bridge where the night bus had to squeeze between two London buses in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Please, do note the bridge actually has two-way traffic. Lambeth Bridge is next to Westminster Bridge where you'll find the Houses of Parliament north of the Thames and the London Eye on the south bank. Number 6. Number 12 Grimold Place, London, England. Between 1996 and 1997, there was some uncertainty about the location of Grim Old Place, the ancestral home of the Black family and headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. But since number 12 is invisible to muggles, we can assume that this is the most likely location in Claremont Square, a short walk from King's Cross Station. Some other fans think Lincoln's and Fields was used as the street outside number 12 Grim Old Place in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Grimold Place is a pun on Grimold Place and the Georgian architecture of the square, while well preserved today, may have been much more somber in the past. Both locations are also in London. Number 5. The Ministry of Magic, Visitor's Entrance, London, England. When Harry and Mr. Weasley went to Harry's hearing for using magic in front of muggles, the Ministry of Magic entered Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix through a red telephone booth. You won't find a phone booth here as it's only used as a prop for the shoot. The location is just close to Trafalgar Square. Just go there and try to spot the location. Let us know in the comments if you found it. Number 4. Alnwick Castle in Northumberland, England. Alnwick Castle in Northumberland is a historic castle that was built in the 11th century by the Normans. It is now owned by the Duke of Northumberland and is open to the public to visit for a fee. It is also used extensively as a location for TV and film. The castle's most famous resident was Mary Queen of Scots who was imprisoned there after being defeated by her cousin Queen Elizabeth I of England at the Battle of Langside in Scotland. You may recognize this place without me even saying why. That's because this is indeed none other than the Harry Potter castle where Hogwarts is located. Number 3. Christchurch College in Oxford, England. Originally opened in 1249, Christchurch College is one of the oldest colleges of the University of Oxford in England. This college has been such an integral part of Harry Potter's universe and as Potterheads we all dream of visiting this majestic place. 
J.K. Rowling chose it as a setting in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone when she needed a setting for Rubius Hagrid's Great Hall scene. Do not forget about the famous dining hall, the staircase and many other locations that were used for the movie's production. Number 2. Gothland, Yorkshire, England. This is where the filming of the classic Hogwarts Express scenes took place. The Victorian station in this place, also known as the real-life Hogsmeade station, still preserves its glory and can be visited by Potterheads. Gothland station opened in 1865 as part of the Northeast Railway. It closed down in 1965 but has since reopened as part of the North York Moors Railway that is a charity organization. Although it's been welcoming visitors since the 19th century, this tiny village now sees thousands of Potterheads every year who want to experience some Wizarding World magic. No wonder why it was listed in the first place as one of the most wonderful places in the UK to visit. Number 1. King's Cross, London, England. You might not have realized it when you were riding the Hogwarts Express in the movies, but the famous platform is actually located at King's Cross Station in London, England. The platform was designed by artist Eduardo Paolazzi and is also featured on the covers of the four US editions of the Harry Potter series. His location's charm is unrivaled. Both the exterior and interior of Platform 9 and 3 quarters at this place have been featured multiple times in the films. This is where Harry and his friends prepared to board the Hogwarts Express. Keep an eye out for the luggage carts embedded in the walls and pretend to start your magical school journey. The trolleys are open 24 hours a day, and you can take your own photos at no charge. You can take a professional photo of the scarf in your own brand colors, which you can then view and buy at the Harry Potter shop next door styled to resemble Ollivander's Wand Emporium, you can find time turners, horcruxes, and games, as well as Hogwarts school jumpers in house colors and even full sets of robes. It's a must for any Harry Potter fan worth their wand. This is all for today. Do let us know in the comments if you've been to any of these places, and also if you are interested in visiting them. We hope you enjoyed watching the video, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.